So folks, uh, today we're going to look at the up and coming Cosmic Desktop. For those that don't know, the Cosmic Desktop is a built from scratch desktop environment based on Rust that System76 folks are busy building. And System76, not only are they famous for their custom hardware that supports Linux, but of course, they release Pop! OS. And that's what we're looking at today is going to be their upcoming desktop environment. I do want to point out though, I've actually got the latest, uh, well, this isn't even alpha, this is pre-alpha uh, system running. And uh, we're gonna take a look at it in a virtual machine. Okay, so taking a look here at the bottom, we have a little launch bar, Firefox. Right, click on that, normal Firefox loads and starting here from the settings. I'm gonna start that that way. And here, of course, uh, you can kind of move the window around. And, of course, you can minimize it. It goes to a new spot on the dock. Click here to maximize it. And here we go. So for desktop and panel, uh, you have the options to show and hide the minimize button. Uh, your super action key, uh, you can configure it on what you want it to do. Right. If you hit that, it, of course, opens up like a search thing, uh, which would easily show you apps okay you can configure it what you want to do uh, here of course if you go to panel you can choose uh where you want your panel to be do you want it to be on the top of the screen center right show on the display um do you want a gap between the panel and the desktop dock uh here of course where do you want it do you want it on the top um you know the bottom not all these settings of course are working just yet if you want it on the left i'm gonna put it back to the bottom if you want to hide the dock right do you want a gap between the dock and the screen edges so you'll check there do you want to extend it to the screen edges and of course you can change the the size of it as well uh, and the opacity and here a couple of applets so if I click on add applet, for example, let's say I add a audio applet um, and you'll see here it is. The applets that are currently available, workspaces, tiling, I'll actually add that one as well. And gives you the option on how you want to tile everything. Okay, going here, we have input devices, so our keyboard settings, right? You can create keyboard shortcuts at some point that hasn't been created just yet. Uh, a display option, your nightlight option, uh, your resolution, refresh rate scale, sound. Uh, well, yeah, as you can see here, to do. <laughs> uh, system accounts. Right, about showing you uh, the hardware I'm running this on. I'm running this on Fedora uh, 39. Um, so you can see here. Uh, firmware details, all up and coming. And if I click this button here, it kind of like hides it. And if I click this here, uh, it actually just froze <laughs> the entire environment. Okay. So... Here we are again and then uh time and language options set set it automatically set it manually uh, still to come and uh, that i guess is the option to search from there and normal minimize works and close that exits right click not yet enabled or working uh clicking on the time uh well seems to also have crashed it yeah, and then you have the options of desktop one and two. Click applications. Thankfully, it didn't crash. And you've got uh, into different categories. And you can add your own groups pretty much uh, the same as the current uh, GNOME Cosmic uh, add-on environment. And if I just click on something here, for example, like Rhythmbox, it will then go and load the application. And then I can just uh, do that to close it. Uh, this side, of course, here we have the tiling options, uh, the audio, 
You can also tick the option to show the meter controls. Uh, here you've got the network option. And if I click on network settings, it just takes me here, which of course isn't completed yet. Uh, battery options. So that's how I want it to be rather high performance. So click on that. And you can, of course, go and also change the options here of your keyboard brightness and your screen brightness. And then, of course, you'll do not to disturb and your uh, power options there. And then, of course, just here, some of the additional applications. So clicking on here, uh, the file manager, you've got uh, just a couple of normal options, a new tab, right? You can right click, you can create a new file. Um, you can then choose, go to the properties of it, not too much to do, but you can choose what to open it with. Uh, you can just double click and I see it just opens by default there. Uh, you can move it to the trash, etc. Um, going to edit, you can go to operations and it just kind of seems to tell you what was complete. So what were the recent operations you had completed? Uh, view, you can do a grid view, a list view, and uh, now these options won't work just yet. So I'm going to put that back to grid view. Uh, and of course about cosmic files, still under construction there. Uh, settings, um, again, how you want to sort, name, modified size, do you want to show the hidden files? the theme match desktop the sizes etc so i'm gonna just uh go here and uh no option yet to empty the trash but you can uh restore from trash let's close that off then the other thing of course is the text um program so it seems to it will or will have git management by the looks of it document statistics uh this is a document and let's say we can see it's which is actually a nice little feature that and if i was to say save save it okay uh, new window new file okay so it also does tabs uh then the usual spell check to do there find replace and then view how do you want to uh view the tab with and then i guess uh, settings will be here we go again the theme you can even have them bindings as well this is actually pretty cool and again about the cosmic editor then here of course we have the terminal so it has profiles what we'll have and you'll at one point be able to add your profiles and choose how you want to uh, configure it let's just close that um and you'll be able to copy and edit our terminal over there settings Follow the mouse, show the header. So let's do something like near fetch. Uh, yes. So a really nice uh, terminal, not, not flashy, but seems to work. So fine, I'm sure it's gonna, once released, be really great as well. The normal, you can right click on it, you can copy it. Text, you can close the header, so you don't need to see the header, show the header. Uh, you can split it horizontally. You can then split it vertically as well. So, that's really great. Um, you know, nicer feature, and it's going to be great to have that built in. So, folks, at the moment, uh, really promising. I'm really looking forward to this uh, being released. Uh, uh, no matter which OS it supports, I'm hoping it's going to really uh, be supported on the other distros apart from Pop OS, and it looks like it will. At least it looks like it will be on Fedora and probably Arch as well, and many others. And 
yeah, I think it's great and uh, refreshing. It does kind of remind me a little bit of Gnome, but kind of a bit, a little bit more of a refined Gnome with not every icon or setting looking so huge and, you know, almost slapping you in the face uh, with a fish type type thing. So, folks, let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.